Hi there, I'm Andrew with Plymouth Medical and today I'm going to be taking you through an unboxing and assembly of the Nitronox Plus nitrous oxide and oxygen analgesia system. Now before we begin there are a couple of tools you'll need to make the process as easy as possible. The first is a knife or a box cutter and the second is a Phillips head screwdriver. The kit does contain a wrench and a hex key for assembly but for whatever reason no Phillips head screwdriver and no box cutter. So make sure you have one of those or something you can open up the boxes with before we begin. Okay, so we've got three boxes in our set. The smallest one contains the head unit, which we can ignore for the moment. The other two contain all of the components that we'll need to construct the base. So we're gonna start by taking a look at this middle box first. Okay, so let's take a box cutter to the tape and open up the accessories box. Now in this box, there's a lot of stuff we won't need right away. So let me just mention what these components are before moving on um, and I'll identify the bits that we need right away. Loose in the box are the hoses and there's the oxygen and the nitrous hose. We don't need those right at the moment. Uh, corresponding with those, we have the regulators. Each of these boxes contain a regulator um, and so these can also go aside for the minute. In this smaller box, you'll find the head mounting adapter and the corresponding screws, the key for the gas tanks and the hex key or the Allen wrench, which is the first accessory that we'll need. So I'm just going to open this box and take out the components that are in this little bag here and you'll see that the hex key is in there. We need that right now. So we have the Allen key, which we're going to be using shortly. Um, additionally, in this box is this, which is the uh, tank holders and they're going to be mounted onto the, uh, the stand. But again, these can go aside just for the moment. Next, we're going to turn our attention to the largest box, which contains most of the base's components. We have the basket, which is going to attach to the central pole. We have the handle, which allows us to move the machine around. We also have the wrench, and this is quite important. It has the instructions, and it shows you the step-by-step -step order in which everything goes together. Uh, with and it also has the wrench that allows us to put the main nut on the bottom of the wheeled base and then the final two components that are in the box are the central pole and the base okay so now we've got everything out of the boxes and we know where we stand we're going to start by building the nitronox uh, pot plus unit from the bottom up and as you might expect that's quite easy because the bottom component are the wheels now when you look at the central pole you'll see that the nut that attaches the two together is actually taped on here for, so we don't lose it and um, so the first thing you're going to do is remove that the first thing we're going to want to do is attach the pole and the base together you'll see that on the pole there is uh, an attachment that fits perfectly into corresponding hole for the base. I usually turn everything upside down to do this to make it a bit easier. Now I mentioned you have the screw assembly or the bolt assembly attached to the pole. Uh, there is a, a, an order that the washers go in and so the easiest way to do it is to just drop the split lock washer followed by the flat washer onto the assembly. That obviously goes into the central hole you can screw that down with your fingers a little bit. Don't go crazy there because there's uh, um, a little bit of paint on the bolt to stop it slipping later on. That's why we supply you with the, uh, the wrench. So just turn the wrench until that's nice and secure. Okay, that's nice and tight. Now we can put this right side up and then we're going to start with the tank assembly. And that came in the first box, if you remember. It's pretty well protected. So now I have my tank assembly. And as you can see, this requires the hex key, the Allen key that came in the first pack. I have that here. And so what we need to do is start by simply loosening the hex bolts, which will give us enough room to slide this assembly down over the central pole. You don't need to take them all the way off, just enough to give us a little bit of space to get the, uh, 
tank holder to slide down over the central shaft. And we slide that down. Now, it's quite important here, you don't want to go too far and have it hanging over the bottom. You want to give about an, between a half and one inch of space at the bottom there. It really doesn't matter which way this points because we build everything around there. But just make sure it's not too far down. We don't want it robbing at the bottom. And then tighten up the hex screws. So the next component that we're going to put on there is the basket. The basket, as you remember, came in the box in the medium size pack. This can be a little bit fiddly. Um, the connection to attach the basket to the pole is in the basket. And I'll show you that basically these slide down over the pole and clip onto the back of the basket. I've found this to be probably the most fiddly part of the whole operation. Essentially, you angle these clips so that they squeeze on there and then one sits at the top and the second one sits further down it may take you a minute just to fiddle around with these things but they do eventually slide on it's just you just got to angle it and push it down there we go and now using the Phillips head screwdriver that I had a moment ago we're just going to loosen these off the screws off to give us again a little bit of space to be able to slide down over the central pole. That should be plenty. And then we just, I just put my foot on top of the thing to make sure it doesn't disappear. And then ease that down over there. And then we can worry about the direction. So what I generally do is I twist the basket to be facing the other way. Cause you've got to imagine the tanks are going to be poking out here. And then there's no right or wrong. You put it at whatever height you wish, but that seems to be about the right height, about a third of the way down the pole. And then back to the screwdriver and we just tighten those screws up. Okay, we're really beginning to take shape. Now we have the base, the central pole, the tank holders and the basket. The next thing is the handle. Now I get quite a few phone calls about this because in the handle pack, there are these spaces. And the intention of these spaces were when we had a different pole, it was to clamp on there to make sure that the, the uh, assembly didn't slide around. This pole is the perfect size for this, so you can throw these away and not worry about them. But essentially, I think you're probably beginning to get the hang of this at this point. You loosen this off, slide it on, and tighten it back up. So this actually came prepared, it was loose enough. We just slide that down to a comfortable position, and then tighten up the screws. Okay, so we've attached pretty much everything to the pole. The final component that needs to go on is the attachment on the top of the pole that allows us to put the head unit on. So this is obviously quite important. Uh, this was back in that small white box that we opened way back when. And it comes here, there are actually two pieces to this. So be careful when you take it out of the pack. This top piece can slide away from the bottom piece if you're not careful. In this case, it didn't because it was attached properly, but that's not always the case. So these two components can be uh, separated. We need to take this part, the one with the three holes in it. Um, those holes correspond with the holes that are in the top of the pole. So you can just pop that on top and look down the top, lining up those three holes. In the pack that the hex key or the Allen key came, um, there are three screws. And those three screws are the three that hold this top assembly onto the pole. So we're gonna take these three screws and screw them in. So now that we've attached the bottom part of the head mounting adapter to the stand and to the pole, uh, we're going to move on to the head unit. Now this is the Nitronox Plus. The first thing you'll note when you open the pack is that there is an instruction pack, there's a warranty card in here, and very importantly, there's the on-off key, which is very, very useful. Against our legacy device, this allows you to lock the machine away uh, without taking off any components like you used to have to with Nitronox. Uh, furthermore, this is very well packed. Obviously, we want to protect this unit. So we have a lot of foam packaging. 
Okay, so we've taken our Nitronox Plus out of the packaging. You'll notice that there's a red cap here, a couple on the back to protect the oxygen, the nitrous inlet, and this is where the breathing circuit attaches to. But in order to attach this to the uh, mounting bracket, we need to attach the second component of the head assembly to the bottom here. And it's pretty obvious there is a big thread at the bottom here, and that simply screws in. Now, you can use a wrench for this, but it's not necessary because what you can do is there is a second nut on the assembly, so you just need to move that nice and tight. When you do that with uh, finger tightness, it's extremely strong. It's a long thread, so it's not going to go anywhere. And then that simply slides back on top. Um, you may have noticed before I said the two pieces were sometimes connected, sometimes they're not. It's quite important at this point to use your hex key to tighten the, uh, the washer here, to tighten the nut here to make sure that this doesn't go falling off or disappear, especially if the stand is knocked. Uh, you can do it reasonably tight. And you'll note that this still rotates, it just doesn't come off. So make sure that's nice and tight. This is useful because if you're in a room and you want to move the uh, unit around to face the patient or face away from you as you're treating the patient, then that's exactly why this thing rotates. So there you go, that's the basic assembly of the Nitronox Plus Nitrous Oxide and Oxygen Analgesia System. We hope this video has been of assistance. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at www.plymouthmedical.com or by contacting our toll-free number listed below. Thank you for choosing Plymouth Medical.